In this video, we are going to practice a few examples about supplementary angles. So the thing you need to remember is that supplementary angles are two angles and they have to add to 180 degrees. So in this example, it says the two angles below are supplementary. If the measure of angle MNO, so that's this one right here, if is, that one is 78 degrees, let's mark that in. What is the measure of angle PQR? So we're trying to figure out this angle over here. I'll just call it X. So we know that the two angles have to add to 180 degrees. So you might be able to figure out the answer to this in your head by just thinking what number plus 78 equals 180. Or you can set up a little equation to solve this. We know the two angles, x and 78, have to add to 180 degrees. So I can set up this equation and then solve it using algebra in order to get my answer. By minusing 78 from both sides, I get my answer that x has to be 102 degrees. Now, there wasn't an x in the question, so I'm going to go back to the question that said, what is the measure of angle PQR? So my answer is the measure of angle PQR equals 102 degrees. Let's go to example B. In this example, it says, what are the measures of two congruent supplementary angles? So let's talk about the vocabulary. The word congruent means basically equal, that they have the same measure. So we're looking for two angles that have the same measure, that they're the same size. And we also know that supplementary means adds to 180 degrees. So if we have two angles that are the same and add to 180 degrees, that means that each angle has to be 90 degrees because that, those are two angles that are the same that add up to 180. We could also solve this by making our angle that we're solving for equal to x. And since we have two angles that have to add up to 180 degrees and have to be the same, so they're each going to be called x, this would be my equation. So I get 2x has to equal 180, so x has to be 90 degrees. So if two congruent supplementary angles exist, they each have to be 90 degrees. The final example, example C, says name one pair of supplementary angles in the diagram below. So supplementary angles are often found hiding out on straight lines. So I noticed this line right here is a straight line. If I thought of this whole angle, it would be a straight angle equal to 180 degrees. But because that angle has been divided into two pieces, one over here and then one over here, so angle INM and angle MNL, those two angles have to be supplementary because together they make that straight line. So my answer is going to be angle INM, that's the sort of blue-green highlighted angle, and angle MNL. You might wonder if there are other possible answers to this. Uh, one thing that you do need to remember is that supplementary angles have to be a pair of angles, has to be two angles. So if you have three angles that make a straight line, like for example this one, this one, and this one, those three angles are not supplementary because they're three angles. They do add up to 180 degrees, but technically they're not supplementary.